Good morning. Ciao. My name is James Lane, brand sales manager of Paradro for Great Britain, Ireland and Germany. We're fairly new to this brand, Pardo, and it's all about styling, the Italian Spirito d'Italia, the essence of Italy. Come on board, I'll show you around. She's rather gorgeous. So, we may as well start here at the aft on the transom. There's obviously an up-down transom here, it's huge. So there's room for a very large tender, we'll discuss that. Should you want a jet ski, tender, sea bobs, whatever you want. This teak draws you into the boat through these huge bulwarks. And follow me, we'll have a little walk around. So we'll start in the cockpit. And this cockpit area is all about entertainment. I'm going to show you the money shot in a minute. But this is all entertainment area. Up, down, table. You've got these rather gorgeous cockpit seating that are on ratchets. They all move up to make seating, or you pull them forward and release them to have a huge, huge area for sunbathing. As I said, this table does move down. It slides out, and there's further infill cushions to put on here for ridiculous amount of sun worshipping. Talking of sun worshipping, if it does get too much, we, we haven't done it, it's a bit windy this morning, so send me apologies. There's an electric bimini that comes out, it's huge. This comes all the, all the way out to back here. It almost overlaps the crew cabin door access. The bit I really want to show you about the cockpit is these huge side wings, angel wings, call them what you like. So this one is folded down because we can do it in the marina. This also happens on the port side, of course, both electronically operated from a switch I'll show you in a minute. But when they're both extended and folded out, there is just under, follow me, follow me, Rob. Se just under seven meters of beam. It is absolutely ridiculous. Seven meters of beam, have a seat, here with your up-down table, your ratcheted sunbathing cushions. It is the area that I want to be in. Think about Italy, think about Lake Como. It's gorgeous, it's ridiculous. Keep following me, Rob. I'm going to walk up the starboard side now and show you the depth of the bulwarks, the sidewalks, the teak, the strength, the integrity. I've got kids, so if I had kids on a boat, which I have had before, I'd want them running up and down here and it's nice and safe. These come up to my hips. Massive, but huge, huge bulwarks, sidewalks. It, it, it just feels so safe. I could, I could be on here in a Force 9, it's ridiculous. There's no lines anywhere. It's just, there are no handrails. It's just so cool and minimal and Italian. And think about those, I don't know, think about those cool Italian sports cars. There's, there's, there's the big three. This is it, but in boat form. Follow me. Oh, under there, that's where you put the uh, handrails. So the, sorry, so the storage is all put away. It's all thought about. It's all so nice and neat. The handrails for these both side wing doors, the, the, the wings slot into there. I'm just walking along and I, I keep forgetting how much detail there is. They've even got huge great stainless steel strips here as well as those little ones. As well as the up down etched electric edge. Rob, come over at these electric edge bits of pardo in here. Just these little touches that the Italians do. It's so cool. Keep following me. Handrails for safety. More sunbathing area. Come and have a seat at the front to complete the styling as we sit right, right at the V of the bow. She's got a really raked knuckle line. And within that forward rake nose, at right at the bow, there's a very cool, minimalistic, Italian styling anchor system, whereby the nose cone will lift out and there'll be an arm that comes out with the anchor and deploys the anchor there forward. And when it's finished, pull the anchor up obviously, and the whole system comes back in and closes itself off. It's a really clever Italian system, all about styling. Teak everywhere, 
you're looking forward to this raked pilot house. We'll talk about that in a minute. Fair leads, teak, huge chunky stainless steel cleats everywhere, sound systems. I don't know where I want to be, cockpit or here. If you wanted, we could fit a bimini. We haven't done at the front, but it is possible, of course. So this reminds me very much of, oh, God, I don't know, some like gorgeous catamarans that you see around the Caribbean. You walk in, you've got a split galley. Galley both sides. You're walking through, entertaining for everyone here. Most things on here are electric. Touch button, it's brilliant. For example, we've got this, We've got this window here that obviously flips up and down and closes it all off. Then you've got your huge, great windows, touch button on both sides that come up and down. I won't do it all the way, but you get the idea. And then blinds, should it be, should it be windy, should it be sunny? So that happens on both sides. And blinds from all windows, even downstairs. I'll show you that in a minute. So let's walk through to the rest of the galley. As I said, it's a split galley. I'm literally sitting on the Corian here. Sink. I've been in this game for nearly 15 years. There's never enough bins on a boat. That's a good size bin. You don't need to go in there, Rob. Dishwasher. Storage. Storage. If come this way, Rob. Freezer. Hob, oven, storage, more storage. Oh, this is quite cool, actually. A little place for your cutlery that's hidden at the top there. I mean, everything about this galley is quite cool. Rob, if you come in, I just want to show you, the, show you the light switches, and obviously that's your air conditioning control unit. But even these little surrounds, all with these printed bits of parado, it's just so Italian, and every little essence of this. It's even backed and sort of popping with a little stainless steel strip around the Pardo switches. It just keeps going. All right, where am I going now, Rob? Oh yes, here we go. You've got fridges at either side of this double galley. One there, another one there. So you can zone your entertainment. Cockpit, talk through the windows. Anyone want a glass of wine? Go up there, into here, into the main saloon area. Follow me, this is cool as well. As you'd expect, it's got your pop-up TVs, it's got your wine cooler put in there, backlit for your glasses, more crockery, cutlery storage, uh, fusion sound system. This is all standard stuff on boats, granted, but they just make it a bit cooler. just so Italian and cool and what does it remind me of? Huge, huge catamarans, huge great sailing boats. I, I suppose these boats are born out of the same shipyard as, uh, as Grand Soleil yachts, those gorgeous, 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 sexy yachts. It sounds a bit naff, but you can always smell the essence of the Italian brands and the Grand Soleil yachts all in this boat. It's very cool. Shut up, Lane. Right, up, down, table. Obviously converts to a dining table or coffee table. This is up, but it does go up and down. These are comfy. Um, I mean, I wish you could feel it, but they make this cool, uh, it, it's wool with a bit of nylon. The, the feel and the tech, I just want to lie down on it. It's quite cool. Right, I'll talk about the helm in a second. Favorite bit about this little zone. Yes, this is all cool and beautiful and Grand Salé and Italian and you can smell it, it's gorgeous. You've got this forward facing pilot house. I, I, I don't even know what you call it, pilot house, uh, helm window, there's no mullion at the front. Um, 
we were out on this boat with one of our test skippers recently. You just feel so safe and secure when you're at the helm. Speaking of the helm, follow me. Um, again, detail, detail. We can go into that should you come down and see it and maybe see trial it, come and see me or talk about it properly. But it's your standard stuff. It's your, um, it's your Garmin plotter, autopilot. Um, she's on IPS, this boat. Again, we'll go into detail should you want to go into that. Bow thruster, should you want to knock your nose in a little bit if it's a bit windy. It's not today, it's quite nice actually. Um, steering wheel, obviously, start system for your IPS Volvos. But this is quite cool. This is the bit I really like about the boat. So you've got this system on here whereby you can run the essence of the boat, the air conditioning, your lights, uh, check out your batteries, all the usual basic stuff. Instead of going around the boat and pressing all the buttons, you can do it from here. So let's look at all lights off. So I'll put all lights off. Uh, main deck, we'll look at um, air conditioning system. We can change each zone from here. Your light management system, we can all off, all on, 50%, 20%. You can do it all from here. Just like uh, systems on other boats called Bonnie, it's very similar, to, it's not that, but it's very similar to that type of system. While I'm sitting here with the controls and your joystick and your wheel and your bow thrusters, it just evokes how this boat runs. So I'll make it very clear, she's not a quick boat, she's not your 35 knot, let's throw around. She's an endurance 60, and dare I say it, the clue's in the title. So it's an endurance, so you're, so you're enjoying the journey as much as the destination. It's a little bit cliched, but I've been on it. We have run her to just over 22 knots. She's not a quick boat, as I've said, but I mean, really, how you'd, how you'd motor this boat and how you'd utilize this boat owner-operated, you're gonna be running about 12 knots, I would think and you'd be sipping the diesel. It's not like, let's throw these down and let's get up to 38 knots. No one does that anymore anyway. It's enjoy the journey, sip the diesel, you're in massive comfort. There is a gyro for extra stability, forward rate pilot house. It's very cool, you've got to come and see it, you've got to come and touch it, it's brilliant. There's one other feature on this boat that is standard, which is, it's so important on a boat like this. It's this vacuous side door, this helm door. It really is big. It's not the half one whereby you've got to climb over a little bit on some other brands. It really is a big helm door. So walk out and full access to both side decks, bow, whatever. You can even speak to the flybridge up there. It's really good. Um, this boat has a gyro, uh, we'll show you the gyro. Systems, Rob, if you come down here, it will just show you the symbol ACDC units that you're used to on all, well, all boats, I guess, of a certain size. It's really simple. In fact, it's more simple than other brands I've worked with, but we can go into that as well. Off and on, services, ACDC, all the usual stuff is there. Um, bolster seat, should you be underway. So I'm now down below, I've come straight from the saloon, down these stairs, and Rob can't see this, but you will in a minute. These underlit stairs, and there's mirrors on the stairs to give this absolute Italian illusion of just class. But as I stand here, it's three cabins. So you've got your port side twin cabin, obviously in front of me here, with a Jack and Jill door, which will do a cutaway photo, I would guess, Rob, something like that. Behind me, you have your uh, first best friend's cabin, right in the bow, there's no compromise. I've been on boats before whereby the bow is a little bit compromised. It's not, there's an ensuite for that as well. And as cool as that is, I have to show you something that is, just come and see the master suite. You've got to come and see this, it's ridiculous. Follow me down the hallway. It is a hallway. You're walking back. It just keeps going. I'm six foot two, remember? So it keeps going. So, master suite, very Italian, very beamy. Again, this gorgeous lighting that the Italians 
seem to be doing throughout this boat. Uh, the bed is not quite king size, but bigger than a queen, just to give you an idea of, of what you need and what you're dealing with. What you will notice on this floor, especially where Rob's standing and I am now, there are no trip hazards. The floor is so cleanly designed. There's nothing fiddly, there's nothing, there's nothing you don't need in this boat. It is just simplified Italian design throughout this cabin. I'll stand up, not there obviously. I'm six foot two, what's this? Oh, I don't know, another three inches, so six foot five worth of, uh, of headroom. I can't enthuse about this about this enough, especially knowing that you've got your own hallway coming down, going back to this master master cabin. You really feel separated, but absolutely enclosed in this beautiful, beautifully appointed suite. It's, it's huge. It really is. I'm going to walk through, and as I walk through to the rest of the boat, just have a little look at the, ma at the, at the master cabin ensuite, because again, it feels it feels far enough away that it's it's not intruding in your living space, but it's there. So, walking up to the flybridge, and when you see cutaway shots of this, you might not even realise it's got a flybridge. That Italian styling tries to keep everything so linear and moving forward even when it's moored up. They keep these really low, so you don't even know it's here, so it's like a little secret area. So as we come upstairs to the fly, to the flybridge, obviously you've got your second helm, everything's mirrored down to the main helm down below. Um, there's an electric bimini. <clears throat> Huge, great sunbathing areas here. Twin cool fridges either side, so you're not up and down the stairs. I really like these bits of glass in the back of the boat here. That feels like a real feels like a real yacht when you get to that sort of level and real thick gauge stainless steel bright work. I love all that. This area I have seen advertised, not in the UK, but I think Florida and maybe Ibiza, like a yoga retreat area for this area here. To be honest, that's up to you, but that's not for me. I think that this would be a couple of steamer chairs, huge great bean bags. There's a table that goes here, maybe a couple of deck chairs. Do what you like. This is an area for you, for you to do what you like. It's a little secret area that you don't even know is here. So do what you like. I'd have bean bags and a glass of wine. With you, Rob. Cheers. <laughs> Coming down from the secret flybridge, the gift that keeps on giving, we're going to walk down on the transom where you'll find access to the crew cabin, the crew cabin for two, and access uh, a second access to the engine room. Cantilevered access. So just walking away from the access to the crew cabin for two, there's something I've forgotten to tell you. So if we walk up either side, port and starboard, the Italians are so tidy and neat. It's all about the styling. They've even got recesses for your ropes and your warps. Um, and that married with the molding of the hull, the bright work, your cleats. There you go, I've forgotten about that as well. So you've got, you've got your electric winches as well. It just marries all together. That, when you close the transom gate, stainless steel, more bright work, all very Italian, Pardo yachts. She just looks absolutely stunning. 
so here I am now at the closing of the walkthrough. Um, I'm on these very comfy sofas in the saloon that I was talking about. On reflection, I've actually missed a couple of vital bits. There's so much on this boat, it goes on. I've just had a re-look at the spec. I've even missed the passerelle, you know, just a small basic like that. I think what I'd like you to do is see us on the website where there'll be a lot more detail that I've totally left alone. The full specification, the price, this is what everybody asks about, the price will be on, this, on within our website. There's even a 3D tour. I think Rob's done a 3D tour. Get on that, move it around with your iPad. It's a fantastic tool. We want you to come and see this boat. Please come and see her. The sun's literally out like as I'm speaking. Come and see her. Come and see us. We'd love to welcome you on this boat. Thank you.